डू यू नो वेल्स अपॉन अ टाइम टेस्ला द इलेक्ट्रिक कार कंपनी फेस द चैलेंज विद प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस they were building incredible electric cars but managing their vast fleet of servers and machines was becoming a nightmare every time they needed to update software or configure new systems it was tedious and error prone process then they discovered ansible a magical tool for automating tasks with ansible tesla could write simple scripts to define how they wanted their servers to be set up and managed It was like having a digital army of robots doing all their work. So guys, whenever Tesla needed to deploy new software or make changes to their infrastructure, they simply ran their Ansible scripts and everything was done automatically. What an amazing in-demand automation tool. Nowadays companies are looking for candidates who have knowledge of Ansible and they are also paying them very good amount of money. So considering this, we'll be covering Ansible in today's tutorial. Now before we move on and learn more about it I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates Craving a career upgrade subscribe like and comment below Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher Simply Learn has your back Just a quick info guys If you are interested in cloud computing and DevOps, then Simply Learn has got you covered. We have a professional certificate program in cloud computing and DevOps in partnership with EN ICT Academy, IIT Guwahati. So, with our professional certificate program in cloud computing and DevOps, you will be learning about cloud infrastructure, DevOps, and also hands-on experience on various real-world projects. So, hurry up now and join the course link. The course link is mentioned in the description box. understand the agenda for our today's session so guys first we are going to start with what is ansible moving ahead we will discuss about how does ansible works then we will discuss about benefits of using ansible and then we are going to conclude our session by installing ansible on docker so this is agenda for our today's session so let's move on so guys as you can see all over here i am on the official ansible documentation But the question is, why have I opened this documentation? So, guys, this is official documentation by the team of Ansible, and I would always want you to refer this documentation while learning Ansible. Guys, Ansible is a versatile automation tool tailored for IT professionals, which enables tasks such as application deployment, workstation, server updates, cloud provisioning, configuration management, and intra-service orchestration. Notably, it stands out for the agentless nature. requiring no additional security infrastructure for deployment which simplifies its use and management now what are the benefits of using ansible if i talk about the benefits of using ansible ansible offers several benefits the first one is agentless architecture ansible doesn't require agents to be installed on managed nodes thus reducing complexity and potential security vulnerabilities this agentless approach simplifies deployment and management Moving ahead we will also discuss about what are managed nodes and control nodes then there is a cross platform support ansible can manage diverse environments including linux unix and windows subsystem as well as network devices and cloud platforms providing unified solution for automation across different infrastructures third one is scalability whether managing a handful of servers or large scale infrastructure ansible scales effectively It can handle thousands of nodes with ease, allowing organizations to automate tasks across their entire environment. Fourth one is integration. Ansible integrates seamlessly with existing tools and technologies, including version control systems like Git, monitoring solutions, and continuous integration delivery pipelines, enhancing the overall automation workflow. Now you'll be wondering how does Ansible works. So guys in ansible there are two main types of computers the first one is control node and second one is managed nodes the control node is where ansible is installed and operated it's essential to have one control node though having a backup control node is also possible on the other hand managed nodes are the devices or systems controlled and managed by the control node ansible operates by establishing connection to these nodes Whether they are servers, clients, or other entities you are configuring, 
It then sends small programs known as Ansible modules to these nodes. These modules are executed over SSH, which stands for Secured Server Shell, and are also removed after the completion. The key requirement for this process is that Ansible control node has a login access to the managed nodes, while SSH keys are commonly used for access and other authentication methods. Now we are going to install Ansible on the Docker. So guys, to install Ansible within a Docker, the first thing that you need is a VS Code. So guys, to install a text editor, you can go directly to the VS Code. So guys, you can see this is the official website of the VS Code and from here you can download your favorite text editor. It runs very smooth. And later on, what you have to do guys, you have to go to the Docker's official website. So you can see this is the first link of the official Docker. And from here, you can download Docker desktop on your system. So guys, if you don't know how to install Docker, you will see a video in the link. Just click on that and you will be very easily navigated to installing Docker on your Windows system. Now, after you have installed VS Code and Docker, the next step comes up installing Ansible within Docker container. So it's certain thing like you are installing a package over a virtual machine. And our virtual machine is acting as a container which is on a Docker platform. So guys, as you can see all over here, so here's a file I have created. So this is the folder Ansible and inside this I have created the Docker file. So your first step would be to create a Docker file. Now, after this, you have to ensure that a Docker is installed on your host machine, okay? Then after creating a Docker file, you have to specify the instructions for building your Ansible container. So here's a basic example, like here you can see from Ubuntu latest. So I have added install dependencies, app.getUpdate, app.getInstall, app.y software properties common, add repository, yes, update pp Ansible, and app get install by. So as you can see guys, I have written this script all over here. Okay, now let us try to understand this script. So you can see all over here, the first thing that is from Ubuntu latest. What does it mean? This sets the base image for the Docker file. It indicates that the Docker image being built will be based on the latest version of Ubuntu operating system available on the Docker hub. Next thing is run app get update. So guys, this line runs the app get update command inside the Docker container to update the package list from the repositories. And the and and symbol which you are seeing is a line continuation character in the Docker file, which allows the command to span up to multiple lines. Third command, as you can see all over here, is written apt get install y software. So basically what it's doing, this line install the software properties common package using app get. This package provides an abstraction of used app repositories. It often requires for adding PPAs, which means that personal package archives to the system. In the next line, you can see I have written apt add repository, yes. You have to update the PPA Ansible and Ansible and add. So this line basically what it does, it adds the Ansible PPA, means Ansible personal package archive to the system. PPAs are kind of additional software repositories for Ubuntu. This particular PPA provides the latest stable release of Ansible. And you can see there is a yes flag which automatically answers yes to the prompts and update and ensures that the package lists are updated after adding to the repository. The app get install y Ansible. This line installs Ansible using app get. Ansible is a configuration management and automation tool. So guys, this line installs Ansible using app get. Now after all, Ansible is a configuration management and automation tool. So after building the Docker image using the Docker file, now we have to run this container using the Docker run command. And it follows with the it flag. Okay, so let me show you. So guys, as you can see, I have already been navigated to my directory of Ansible. So you can see Docker build T, T is an argument, okay, and A container. A container is a name. So let us say a name as uh, demo container. Now we are going to build our image first. So I'm typing this command, right click on this and let me show you what is happening. So as you can see, it started building our Ansible container all over here inside the Docker. Now, 
we have installed Ansible all over here. Now the next step is to run our Docker container, which has installed Ansible image. So just type this command, docker run and it Ansible container bin bash. Let me explain you this command. So guys, after building the Docker image using this Docker file, you can run a container from it using the docker run command. The it flag allocates the sudo tty and keeps the stdin open even if not attached, allowing you to interact with the container shell. Slash bin slash bash. This specifies that you want to start a bash shell session inside the container. Now, when you're inside the container, you can verify that Ansible is installed by running Ansible version. Now, we'll also do that, but before that, let's run our container. So, you can see, now we are inside a bash container or bash shell, and I want to check whether our Ansible is installed or not. So, I'm gonna type Ansible version. So you can see that our latest version is 3.1.2 and you can see the Python version, it's also saying 3.12.3. So guys, congratulations. We have successfully installed our Ansible in the Docker. So guys, this was just a basic overview of Ansible and what it has the capabilities for. You can do a lot of things with Ansible and automate a lot of processes like configuration management. You can create your playbooks and just run it. So in that way, it automates your process and it makes your workflow kind of easier. So guys, thank you for watching this video. That was all for today's video. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's video on Ansible. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.